From petting a shark to a snake clonk to the nose. From astonishing fishing techniques to mysterious mammoth remains. Here are the outrageous things caught by fishermen that no one was supposed to see. Eagle steals from fishermen. Imagine how surprised the fishermen would have been when a bald eagle swarmed in to steal straight from the rod on a father-son fishing trip. Oh! That eagle, take the picture, take the picture. I got picture. it. I got it on video. Mesmerizing them at what looked like their very first catch of the day. It looks so magnificent that you can't be mad at nature being at its finest. And here again, a bald eagle is asking for his share from his fishermen. Hey fella, where's my share of the day, hmm? Give it to me, or I'll summon up my bros and we'll wreak havoc on your little ship. Hey look, Peter's already here. Last chance, you wanna give it to me or not? Hey, hey! <laughs> All right. <laughs> sea lion stealing from fishermen. A group of fishermen was net fishing in the Indian Ocean when a school of hungry sea lions came swarming in. The net was full of fish that were caught by the fishermen, and it was a dream come true for hungry ocean predators. They jumped in the net and started feasting on the fish. This is uh, virtually impossible to work. Irrespective of the size of the catch, sea lions didn't seem to care much. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sloth on board. A few kind-hearted fishermen in Tortuguero, Costa Rica, noticed a sloth in the river. Concerned that it was too far from the shore, they decided to see if they could rescue it. In the process, they tried taking it on their paddleboard to place it out of harm's way. And surprisingly, it worked. Look at the sloth now. It seems as if it was hitching a ride on a paddle into the boat. <laughs> They then got the sloth back to its tree, safe and sound. Indeed, a perfect end of a sloth's final destination. Generally, sloths aren't capable of speed. It could take them forever to swim or cross from one side of the river to the other, so fishermen often give them lifts. I mean, look at this epic clip. With the fishermen rescuing the sloth and having it on board, it seems to be enjoying the experience of having its claw dipped in the water. Electric fishing. Electrofishing is generally considered inhumane and illegal in the U.S., except for four counties in North Carolina. However, it is used by fisheries biologists to sample fishes in different waters. Here in this clip, a group of marine biologists is temporarily stunning the fish in a lake to study marine life in the water. Don't worry. The process is not harmful to the fish, as they are retrieved back once they have been studied, tagged, and classified by the experts. Maldivian style of catching tuna. As you can see in this clip, a tiny group of fishermen from the Maldives in the Indian Ocean is using a simple but quite old technique for fishing using the pole and line. Collecting fish without much equipment makes it look all easy, fast, and efficient. It is also believed to be a sustainable approach to capturing fishes, as the lines only hold fishes of a certain size while letting the little ones go, which maintains the balance of the stock. Plowing for fish. These fishermen from Southeast Asia plow the ground to attract snakeheads by preparing wet, muddy fields. The plowing attracts snakeheads who are keen on invading new territories, and as a result, this makes it a perfect trap. These fishes can survive several hours to days, depending on how close they are to water while entrapped. However, this method of fishing keeps the fish alive for several hours, so the farmers have to quickly gather these fish. Fire fishing. Fishermen from Taiwan have been using this old technique of fishing for centuries. Since the local fishes, sardines, are attracted by light, these fishermen use sulfur on bamboo sticks to light fires. In doing so, 
The brightness of the fire makes the fishes jump out of the water, where the fishermen capture them by using the net. This unique fishing technique has a three-month season period, lasting from May to July. Diver finds sleeping sperm whales. During a research project, a scuba diver was fascinated to find a family of sperm whales that were sleeping in a standing, column-like formation near the surface of the water. Since whales only spend around 6% of their time sleeping, they are known to sleep the least when compared to any other mammals. Even then, only half of their brain sleeps, while the other half monitors for threats. When the whales woke up, they let the diver follow them while being curious as to why a human was stalking them. Lungfish In this clip, a survey team searches and captures a rare Australian lungfish to study, after which they release the fish back into the water unharmed. Oh, how is this fish alive? And look, it's even opening its mouth. Well, that's because it's a lungfish. Yeah, lung and fish. The name literally is self-explanatory. This fish species can breathe air like us. They live mostly in fresh water, but when the water level is shallow, they are also able to survive in mud. Lungfish can survive on their own tissue muscles of the tail area for nutrients. Fisherman accidentally catches a shark. Just as any other predator, even this shark is lying helpless in the net with the other fishes that it usually enjoyed preying on. As the fishermen finally pulled the net out of the water onto the boat, they are even surprised to see how the shark still doesn't care about its own fate, rather focusing on chomping down the other fishes. Eventually, the fishermen manage to grab onto the shark and toss it back into the sea, while the shark might probably find itself in another fisherman's net another day. Magnet fishing. No, no, in this technique, they don't fish magnets underwater. Rather, they use a strong magnet to try and grab ferrous metal objects that are hidden or lost underwater. This man found a, what, bone? Oh, it's a human bone. I wonder who this belongs to. Well, he also found someone's lost bicycle underwater too. So that's gotta count for something, right? But don't worry, as you never know you might find something valuable. Snake bites on the nose while fishing. In this epic clip, you can see two fishermen who seem to be enjoying fishing using nothing more than their hands, which one might say is the most unusual manner. Yep, yeah, don't they slip? In the midst of it, a snake came out of nowhere and bites the fisherman as he begins to shake. But his brave companion stepped in to save his friend by slapping off the snake into the water with his flip-flop, saving the day. Man pets a shark. It's a no-brainer that petting a shark is a bad idea, but this guy would say otherwise. He was out there on a fishing boat when a hungry, great white approached his catch. The man became so desperate to touch the shark that he started petting him again and again as the shark circled around the boat. He was lucky to remain intact, as the shark almost got his hand. This insane stunt could have ended up being a terrible tragedy. Camera captures mermaids. Over the years, mermaids have been sighted several times around the globe. In some cases, they got caught by fishermen found dead, washed away on the beach, and even attacked construction workers building a dam in Zimbabwe. There has been a lot of effort made all over the world to get to the bottom of this, often because of a shaky camera or blurry capture that makes it difficult to see or judge. Sea Devil Anglerfish In this footage, a group of Russian fishermen, after what seems like a long wait, caught a devilfish. Don't believe me? Well, see for yourself. Вот он чёртик, как выглядит морской, мальчики. Я тоже. This is actually a sea devil anglerfish, also known as the black sea devil. The black sea devil is a gruesome-looking deep-sea fish that lives in a cold, dark area under the water called the Mariana Trench. It is nine centimeters long and has a bony-looking rod. 
Judging by the looks of its shape, it's clearly not capable of speed, which makes it an ambush predator. This rod has a bioluminescent lure that sticks out of its head, which glows in the dark to attract prey. That's one monstrous fish indeed! Mammoth Remains Found by Fishermen A couple of fishermen in Siberia made a shocking discovery by accidentally finding remains of woolly mammoths. They found tusks in addition to many bones, including toe, upper, and lower jawbones. They called the authorities, who confirmed that the bones were 36,000 years old. The couple seemed to enjoy digging them out. Oh my god. It seems as if these days, hundreds, if not thousands, of mammoth graveyards are being discovered from Russia to Siberia due to the thawing of ice. It sure is turning out to be a booming business for the digging and mining companies. Giant Squid Normally, giant squids are a rare deep-sea creature that is known to be located between the Gulf of Mexico and New Zealand. They often test the shallow water when food in the deep sea becomes scarce. Maybe this baby also came to find food, but died on the shore for an unknown reason. Anyway, this squid gathered a lot of people around her, but then was taken away by animal rescuers. The squid was 13 feet long with all of its tentacles stretched out. The tentacles are known to be the lower half of the deep sea creature. The adult squids are known to be 40 feet long. The Sea Serpent What is this long creature? Sure looks like a mythical sea creature to me. Well, don't get your hopes up, as this is a sea serpent that is known to be one of the longest and rarest fish ever to be discovered in Japan and the Philippines. Usually, they are found deep in the sea, but recently a sea serpent surfaced and got washed up on a beach. Maybe the fella was looking for food. It took more than a dozen people to drag it to shore. Known by many names, these sea serpents weigh around 600 pounds and are 50 feet long, which makes them even bigger than the giant squid. Goblin Shark As you can see in the clip, a fisherman managed to capture one of the goblin sharks and is clearly showing its jaws. It is a 10 to 12 foot long shark that is found four thousand meters deep under the water. It is more freaky than your usual breeds of sharks. Unlike other sharks, they seem sluggish until they attack. Goblin sharks have the ability to distend their jaws to get out of the line of their body. They have electromagnetic sensors under the bottom of their nose, and they also have the fastest fish jaws in the ocean. Best Friend Fish A dog is a man's best friend, right? Hiroyuki Arakawa, who is a Japanese fisherman and scuba diver, would beg to differ for 25 years. Arakawa and a fish named Yoriko have been the unlikeliest friends. One might ask, why is that? One day, Arakawa found the fish to be severely injured, so he decided to look after Yoriko. He fed the fish with crabs and nursed it back to health, creating a bond between the two. Arakawa still dives into the waters of Hasama Underwater Park to meet his friend Yoriko. Sea Spiders Welcome to your nightmares, the underwater edition. A diver found dozens of sea spiders that were blending in well in their surroundings. They aren't as scary or venomous as their terrestrial counterparts. Throughout the world's oceans, there exist over 1,300 species of this strange, creepy sea creature. Usually, they are at the bottom of the cold, dark sea floor, but are mostly found shallow in the Antarctic region. Sea spiders are less than an inch long and feed on coral, sponges, and worms. These creatures can reach giant sizes as they breathe through the holes in their legs. Deadly Whirlpool what could be more dangerous than sea creatures? Well, the sea itself. While it is home to a lot of species, it can often turn out to be a calamity depending on its intensity and form. Imagine you're fishing someday, and this whirlpool appears out of nowhere. Whirlpool is a force that is a result of falling and rising tides colliding together to form a spiral sinkhole. This sinkhole spins quite rapidly, 
and could pull you or your boat, depending on its size. But by swimming perpendicular to the current, you might just have the chance to escape it. Ice Dive Fishing This might be the coolest fishing method you'll ever witness. Unlike the common type of fishing, ice dive fishing is an advanced form of technical diving where the water on the surface is frozen. The fishermen then go for a walk underwater, down on the icy floor, and along the walk, they poke holes in the ice that emerges another liquid. This liquid is separate from the lake water only because it's merely a shift of perspective that makes it unique all the way. Greenland Shark Another creature to be terrified of? For some, it's the stuff of nightmares. In this clip, a fisherman caught one of the world's two largest predatory sharks. He holds the shark to examine it, and later on allowed it to leave unharmed. Greenland sharks are the oldest known shark in the world, having a life expectancy of at least a few centuries. Whoa! Greenland sharks move as slow as one foot per second, as they need to preserve energy for survival, as food in cold water is scarce. But the fellas aren't behind in the game of scoring gals, as they travel huge distances, spending most of their lives in search of a mate. Sarcastic Fringe Head Sarcastic Fringe Head is not a literal, but a figurative Greek word, meaning to tear or bite. They are mostly known to be quarrelsome fish that have a big mouth with needle-sharp teeth. In the clip, we can see how defensive these creatures can get. These fish have territorial battles amongst themselves and wrestle by pressing their mouths against one another as though they're kissing. This determines the larger and more dominant fish. They live in structures made by other animals near the coast of California in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. Russian Spy Whale Sea creature turned Russian spy. Yep, it is an actual spy. A beluga whale, also known as Russian spy whale, was found wearing a harness that supports equipment from Russia, signaling its connection to them. Once the word got out, they admitted to having this creature in the process of developing animal spies. A group of Norwegian fishermen sighted this creature first in April 2019 and removed the harness from the whale. Giant Sawfish A fish with a saw? Yes, you heard that right. Giant sawfish is perhaps one of the most unique looking creatures in the ocean. In the video, we can see that a fisherman caught his very first sawfish in over 20 years. They have a long, distinctive, flattened snout with a saw-like surface on either end. Now, you might be asking, what exactly is their saw and how is it used? The saw and the skeleton of these creatures are made of cartilage. The sawfish use their saw-like snout to stun fish by thrashing side to side near the sea bottom. Once the prey is immobilized, the sawfish moves in to have a delicious meal using their teeth inside their mouth. Mekong Giant Catfish Is that even a name for a fish? Well, it is, and it's the largest freshwater fish known globally. An adult fish is 10 feet in length and weighs 650 pounds. Here is a clip of a fisherman holding one of the fish, which is considered to be an endangered species. Loss of habitat and human meddling are some of the major reasons for such a decline. These creatures travel extensive distances to give birth to hundreds of offspring. Today's open discussion is a picture that points towards an amazing fishing technique that involves a long fishing line with hooks on it that can catch dozens of fish at once. This kind of technique is mostly used by big fish farms or commercial crews to catch fish on a large scale. The process is completely automated, and the crew along the machines work together to make the operations possible. Inked by a squid We have all heard that octopuses and squids ink their prey in times of distress, but have you ever seen anything more savage than this? This fisherman was trying his best to reel in this little squid, but what he got was coming for him. After being reeled in, this squid immediately inked the fisherman as a defensive mechanism. Well, the video will be a reminder for him to never mess with a squid ever again. Slender Snipe Eel If you were looking for the most bony fish discovered to date, this is the one. 
A slender snipe eel is a deep sea fish, also known as deep sea duck, and has more bones than any animal in the animal kingdom. In the clip, we can see a couple of researchers capture a slender snipe eel to study it. This fish weighs only a few ounces, but can reach five feet in length. Slender snipe eel can catch its prey by swimming with its mouth open. Wolf Eel In this clip, the fishermen have captured and are feeding crabs to one of the ugliest fish they caught. Well, they should beware, as this fish, known as the wolf eel, have powerful jaws and sharp teeth, enough to crush and eat creatures even with the strongest of shells. As you can see in the clip, these fishes can grow as huge as 8 feet in length and weigh 40 pounds. They have a flexible bone structure, which makes it possible for them to fit and pass through tighter spaces. Lizardfish Lizardfish? Is there even a thing like that? Well, here's a video of a guy who attempts fishing and luckily catches a lizardfish for himself. Lizardfish are uncommon among the fishermen or consumers. The most distinctive feature about these creatures is that they are apex predators and have searing teeth meaning they can or will eat anything that comes their way. They wait on rocks at the sea bottom, motionless for their prey to swim by and then swarm in for the delicious feast. Well, that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching the video.